happy Thursday, everybody. How are you? How's your quarantine Thursday going? On a scale of one to 10, how much are you losing your mind? That's my question du jour. All right, here goes. Let me add Sean. Bear with me. Bing bong boo. Bing bong bingly bongly boo. Where is Sean? I can't find him at all. There's lots of requests from everybody else. Where is he? All I do is sing all day long because of Milo. Where is he? Still can't find you, Sean. Still can't find you. Maybe he's on the toilet. Sean, are you doing a poo? Is he doing, are you doing a poo? Is that where he is? <laughs> where is he? <laughs> Everybody else wants to join except Sean. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh shit, hang on. I lost him. Wait, there you are, gorgeous. There you go. Cool. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Put your seatbelt on. He declined. <laughs> Classic. Was it something I said? Is it because is it I said you were doing a poo? He hit decline. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> decline. Uh, there he is. Okay. I love you. Here we go. Here we go. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. I feel it. Yes! I was knocking. I was knocking and I couldn't get in. I wasn't <laughs> booing. I wasn't booing. Hang on, I need my coffee. That was a very stressful start. Oh, very God. Stressful. Which is weird. It's weird you can I, I kept, I kept off the VIP list. I couldn't even attach my thing to my thing. How Hold are on. you? Speaking of things, I need to put my things in my holes. Hold on. I want to be sure if you're in the ding dong. He's in here. I can't say that. I keep calling them air pids and pods and bods and it's never the right word whatever i say they are I, i've got to order some of those because I, I i don't i don't have and, and apparently i'm very untrendy now because i have wired headphones but I, think covered <laughs> this. I know i'm going to lose those things within three seconds of, of buying them so you know what you should do is you should buy them and then immediately have tanya keep a hold of them because she won't That's lose them good. just say yeah. here you go tanya yeah. we, i don't tanya know do me a favour, will you hand these to me only when I ask for them, and then when I'm finished, probably <laughs> take them back. <laughs> that is probably the best thing that I should do. Um, I, tr I trust I, her with them. I just saw a video before I, I, the boys, I had to get the boys in the bath and stuff, because Flynn's got to do his school lessons, but I just oh. saw the video of you <laughs> singing in your kitchen. It's awful. It, it's I can't so tell you the level of joy that that gave me. It was so funny. I, I nearly shit my pajamas. I mean, <laughs> it was so terrifying. You know when you're just so somewhere else, and I really didn't think anybody was there. And then just to see him, and not only was he just behind the oven, he's holding his phone. I mean, I literally fell out of my own skin, and it was so mortifying. And then he go, and then Mark goes, "We should post it." I'm like, "Uh, no. Not only have I got no makeup on, my worst glasses." <laughs> And we haven't got a new fridge yet. Like the horrible <laughs> white fridge that came with the house of the previous owners who were like 110. I'm like, no. And, then, and the best bit is, is that it's totally pitchy. And then, and then I mess up the words at the end. But nothing about it is... You know, Honestly, like, yeah, everything about funny. it, you're wrong. Everything about it is brilliant. And the whole reason is because you don't know. And that's what's so absolutely <laughs> joyful about it. So I'm trying to... I'm <laughs> late to the party here, trying to get my thing working. But do you know what's weird? The day that you taped that, because Mark told me... Oh, I caught Rebecca singing. Uh, and, I, and I said, do you know, that's so funny because I, I went out to the shops to get something and um, I, I did the same thing, but I, I was singing in my car like my life depended on it. I was <laughs> bearing out and I thought to myself, God, if anyone could see me, it's such a knob right now. I was singing, because after we watched the commitments again the other night, which is oh, just I so good. Oh, so good. And it, so good. It, it just improves with age. And mm -hmm. I was singing Try a Little Tenderness, uh, like so people could hear me in Australia. And then when Mark said that we did that, I was like, oh my God. It's like we've got on the same cycle. We're like, I have to go out and sing somewhere for myself. We're totally spending way too much time together, but not seeing each other. I think I may have figured this out now. Yeah. 
Now, if I cut you off, I'm terribly sorry. Now, did you say that you were going to tell that you had some questions or there were some things that somebody, I didn't fully understand our, our morning briefing? The good news is, is that you're incredibly good looking. So nothing else really matters. Oh, you could perfect. literally just sit there, sit your coffee, and it would be a great live, let's Cheers. be honest. But what I did do in preparation for the day, I thought today we could try something new. Oh, I like and, it. And, um, you know, just talk to the fans. And so yesterday, or no, this morning, I did, um, I asked everybody if they had any questions for us on my Insta story. And today, for the first time, I'm going to pull those questions up in our live. So I, ap I apologize ahead of time if I don't do it properly. But uh, this is my it's first time. It's an off the cuff thing. We fly by the seat of our Popping off. my Q&A cherry. So here goes. Let me see if I can find some questions. Well, love you, Bex, is a lovely sentiment, but not a question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, too. Um, okay, here's one. Oh, I nearly lost you. Sean, what's your favorite quarantine snack from Lana Esquire? Quarantine what snacks. are you binging on the most? Um, do you know what? I think we occasionally do like a run and go to our English shop. There's an English shop. So all, all the goodies are like uh, English crisps and mm. English chocolate and um, request to question sticker favourite. I don't know what's happening. I'm going to ignore that. Um, yeah, so it's all English stuff like... Chocolate hobnobs, Ooh. Uh, hula hoop crisps, Ooh. Uh, bounty. They're Aero. making me dribble. Uh, oh yeah, all of that. Orange squash, Ribena. Ooh. Uh, and wine. So basically anything British during the day with coffee and then alcohol at night. That's pretty much what that's, it. that's the key to a longer, happier life. I would say my biggest comfort food when I need to um, make myself feel better at the moment is crisps. Like a bag of crisps. <laughs> With anything but I don't like it American crisps. Crisp, they never do. They never do the same job. American crisps and er America does pretty much everything better. The but crisps, no, they're not, they're not as good. I just like anything cheesy, like a cheesy puffy, cheesy puffy yeah, thing. Yeah. Even with a beer, and I'm like, I'm so happy. Don't talk to me. Sure, All right. This goes. Let me get another question. This is really fun. I can't believe I'm doing it. Look at me. I'm so You're such a, I know. Such a modern lady. I'm, I'm a tech wizard. I am a guru. Oh, okay. Here's one. Here's one for you. Oh, What's write you... them in English if you can, just because our Brazilian Portuguese Spanish. Favorite Spanish. memory of Colin. Oh God. Mm. I, I, I would. I would say any time he's drunk is a good time. Yeah. Drunk, drunk Colin is next level. He is one of the funniest most fun people and sure yeah. um, Colin would have some really fun parties in his trailer because he's a he's sort of a whiskey connoisseur isn't he so yeah. that was it's like something he'd leave, he'd leave his door open he could pop in it was really fun it was like an I, Irish pub like dinner party I think Colin I like Colin you know because Colin's quite sensible but when he yes. when he's had a couple of glasses of wine and he gets in giggly mischievous yeah. schoolboy Colin mode that's, like that. that's probably my favourite Colin, because Helen's like that as well. Yeah, uh, they're, they're both Jean a good Helen time. Helen is one of my favourite things in the whole world. They're the both two of them are just when they've brilliant. been drinking, for But, sure. like, it's hard. Like, it's like saying my best memory of you. There's a hundred million things, uh, but, but it's more like a mood. I like, I like, I like a it little a bit mood. of tipsy Colin. Here we that, go. Here's another one. What are you watching right now? What am I? Oh, I'm watching, I'm watching The Last Kingdom with Uhtred, son of Uhtred. I love that show. Have you seen it? No, Last Kingdom Last... on it's on Netflix. It's so good. No, I, I haven't it. watched that. I, I just hashtag recommend it. What are you? I have then? been watching because a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, asked me if I wanted to take place in this thing called the SmackDown Challenge, where they take a year, like in this case, 1981, and then you watch, you pick a category. In this case, it's going to be the best female supporting. And I and Tanya, we watched five movies. And then we sort of rate what we thought the performance was, did the right person get the Oscar that year? Who else was in contention? So it's kind of interesting. That's cool. To be honest, it wasn't a great year and, and it wasn't a great category because they weren't, you know, this is 1981. It's women's parts, which obviously, you know, less so, more so now, but, let, you know, they're not written for enough. And you kind of go, wow, out of these five, two or three of them, I was like, this is an Oscar nominated performance. Like, there's not really <laughs> much here, you know? So anyway, I've been yeah. watching those movies. Um, TV-wise, we haven't really had a chance to... 
I mean, we started watching uh, Money Heist, which I've only got, still got two or three episodes in, but I really like that. Mm. Uh, the, what was the other one we were watching? Killing Eve. We started watching oh, the series of Killing I Eve. I haven't seen the new one. Have you seen Dead to Me on Netflix? Tanya would like that. It's yes. Really it's, wait, Dead the to new Me season is Christina's show, out. right? Yes. Is it Christina? Christina yeah, Christina yeah. Applegate. Yeah, we the love that. The new season of that just came out. I haven't seen it oh, yet. Oh, good. I'll watch that. I, God, there's so much good TV that. out at the moment. It is, it's, it's like there the is, best, you know what I think? I'm going to suspect, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I bet you when quarantine ends, people will be like, no! I haven't got time <laughs> to I haven't finished all my yet. shows yet. Yeah. People will actually stop moaning. When quarantine ends, you mark my words, people will complain. Oh, I can't believe we got to go back to normal life. How is this a question? Chocolate sprouts. <laughs> is that a suggestion for our band name? <laughs> chocolate sprouts? Sure! Woo! Or maybe it's a Happy greeting. Maybe next. it's a greeting. Hey, chocolate, chocolate sprouts. sprouts. Chocolate sprouts. <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me so much. Maybe it's a thing and we just don't realise it. Oh. Uh, once upon a time is still better than. Uh, Bet, do you like our profile picture? I love it's it. Kind of, you're, you're, you're like this small at, at this point, but we, we can check that later. Um, okay. Do you have any other good ones, Rebecca? Do you have a favorite sport, Sean? I think anybody knows me that knows I'm a pretty passionate pretty. football fan. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, football, without a doubt. But I, I, I like, me too. I mean, I'm not a huge sporting crazy person. It's not like just any sport I'll watch, but I like football, I like uh, tennis. Um, uh, I like a lot of things, but I'm, I'm just missing. I mean, I think we said in our conversation last night, one of the things I'm really missing is, I mean, I don't get to do it often because I live in LA, but going to Tottenham when I go home. And this year, oh, yeah. I hope if, if, if football resumes to take Flynn to his first game at the new Tottenham oh. Stadium, that, that to me is, I think, probably the That's most exciting thing to look forward to. What amazing. about you? Do you miss I like football? I only, I only watch football. And I find American football so hard to understand. And then I'm like, why is it called football when it's in their hands? It shouldn't it be called handball. Yeah, I, I get into a lot of debates with my American friends about it. I've stopped fighting with them now. I'm saying, it's not football. You barely kick it. <laughs> it's throwy ball. Throwy ball for a big age. So, so Thea wants to know that how are we doing today? How are you feeling, Sean? Do you know what? I, I don't mind telling you. I get out of bed every morning as if I've worked out so hard the day before. I'm like, oh, so <laughs> stiff and sore. I must have really put myself through my pain. No, that's right. I didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> ah, I now see. And I said to Tanya, I, I feel like I've really put in some physical hours. She went, I'm just getting old. I was like, just getting old? You're a bit hurting. Bit, bit creaky in like, the old bones. Right. It's a bunch. So how am I doing today? Feeling sorry for myself. But I'm a bit How are you sore. doing today? How are you I'm, doing today? I'm, I'm actually feeling quite buzzy because um, I don't know if you know this. Breaking news: I started working out seven days ago. Uh, 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 really? Uh, Have you been doing uh, it for uh, seven uh, days? What? You can't tell. I look amazing. Well, obviously I can tell, but you always look luminous. And also, I can only see from the neck up. So unless you're doing neck exercises, I'm not going to see much. There uh, you I look go. Amazing. There <laughs> you go. No, I do, I, I, it's only 30 minutes and like, that I can That's sit really? to. I can bang it out in Milo's morning nap. And every day is different. It's like yoga and cardio. It's really, you really You do it live hard. on TV. You're watching like a class, like a live class. It's on a beach body on demand. It's like a subscription thing. And then they have an app for your smart TV. And I've been doing it every morning. And, and I have just, the endorphins are so good for my mental health that I'm getting you know that what? sort of I, I feeling. Doing... I was doing it, I, I think I told you up until when I broke my finger, and now my finger's start, it still, it looks oh, yeah. a bit weird, it's, it's growing. Is it, is it, is it bent? Is that permanent? Yeah, it's a bit bent now, I know. Oh no. i worried about that. But so I think, I, I, th I said this week is the week I'm going to start trying to exercise, but I think I'm going to push it till next week. You Just still look, say. your upper body still looks ripped, because um, Mark and I had the joy of FaceTiming with you recently when you were shirtless, which was quite epic. And I noticed that you still look quite cut, which is shocking. In Do you know, I think it's because I'm able... skinny. I think it's because I'm a little bit of a skinny git. I've never gone too far over the uh, weight to the dark, line. To the dark side. So, so I sort of stay the same way, but, um, but, but I just don't, I don't feel muscly. good. You I don't muscly. feel good though. Well, you're right. Like when you do just 30 minutes of exercise, I was doing it out in the garden and the boys were doing it with me and I got into a routine a bit. And it really did. It made me feel so much better. And I haven't felt quite as good since. So I'm going to, maybe I'll try and do the first one back today. There's a guy that do Tanya it. knows. His, I think it's Tanya's cousin who I've never met. His name's Chris Mack, I think. And he does like Mac Attack online. And it, oh, I, yeah, I was I've like, heard oh, I don't really want to do this. I don't like working out with other people via satellite. And Tanya was doing yeah. it. I was like, all right, maybe I'll give it a go. 
And then I did it. It was incredibly hard. But when it finished, I was like, yeah, yeah, woo. Let's get a yoga yeah, mat. You, you, you get, get that smoothie. feeling. It, yeah. it's, it's, it's the endorphins that I'm doing it for because it, during this time, mental health is the most important thing. Have you it's seen true. Outer Banks? Oh my Have I seen God. what? Outer Banks. It's a new show on Netflix. It is phenomenal. Out it's of so Banks. so good, yes. I, you, you're missing out. It's is so it, what, good. Is it a drama or? Yeah. Yeah, it's brilliant. On, on Netflix? Yep. Well, I'll have to so put that to my queue. Oh, I I'll tell you something that I did watch. Speaking of sport, going back a bit, there's a documentary called The Last Dance about the oh, Chicago yeah. Bulls and stuff. I'm not a basketball fan. I'm not, I don't really follow it. But this documentary is amazing. It's just amazing. Just the last because dance. they became such an iconic team and stuff. And seeing the internal workings of a team 20 years, 30 years, whatever it was afterwards, um, is really fascinating. So if you're a sports fan or a basketball fan, you haven't seen that, I'd highly recommend that. But Out of Banks, I'll write down. Out of Banks, write it down, everybody watch it, hashtag you're welcome. Favourite Fav con memory? Oh, that's a good oh question. Oh my God, that's, that's, that. I, I've got one, I've got one. What? It was when we were in Brazil. It was the first time we all went to Brazil and um, someone came to the green room and they're like, oh, Rebecca, you know, we're ready for your panel or whatever. And I'm like, oh, cool, you know, I put my coffee down. And I'm walking through the kitchen, through the back of the hotel. I'm like, that's a lot of noise. <laughs> and I just hear, Bow! Brazil was got, crazy. As, the, as I got closer and closer, I realized that it was for me. And I've never at any convention heard anything like it. it, it the screaming was so loud. My <laughs> eardrums were going, da dung, da dung. It was boy and, band level stuff, wasn't it? Yes, I've never felt so famous. <laughs> <laughs> My ego was like, <laughs> I'm like, it's, I'm massive. I love it. I've made it. I think it. They, they, Brazil are, are sort of, I mean, there's lots of the countries we've been to, the responses was great and it's exciting, but Brazil sort of take it to another octane level and they oh, take it to... I love that. They, they seem to approach cons uh, like the way Brazilians approach football. You know, it's just all passion, love yeah. and fun and joy. And they, I, that just, just also just going and hanging around in Brazil. You know, yeah. going around. Uh, I remember once when we were stuck. Do you remember we'd have to go along Copacabana Beach, around that kind of peninsula, yes. and that's yes. where the hotel where the con was. And the traffic right. was so bad. I said to one of the bodyguards in this eye armored car, "Should we just get out and walk?" And, he, and they all like, <laughs> 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 they did like a man shuffle, like, <laughs> <laughs> idiot, you foolish finger, you know nothing. And I said, stupid, "Why?" And they're like, "Well, that's, that's one of the slum areas. Even the police don't go in there." And I was like, "Oh, right, we'll stay in the car then. We'll just stay in the car." <laughs> I love that. I don't want to reenact scenes from City of God or something. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I think, I think Brazil, there was a, there's talk of my, me possibly going back at the end of the year, depending if the, if the world... They're going to let you back in. They may, they may not, they may not. Or maybe patient zero, maybe they will just deny me. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I think, I think Brazil, but also we've never been to, I mean, we've never done it together, like Argentina, oh, Uruguay, a lot of those yeah. other South American countries. Do I'd, like to, I'd like to do a little tour. South American tour. Totally. This is a question for you. How is your TV child, Robin? How is he? Have you spoken to him? My Rafa, like my little kid in the show? Um, yes. I, we sort of keep in contact via sort of social media. I'm always keeping a check on him doing his, his little videos and his posts and stuff like that. He's just such a sweet boy and such a sweet, uh, such a sweet family. Um, and they'd, yeah, and they'd, I, always, they'd always bring us cookies, do you remember, him and his mum? so lovely. But you know what I've just realised? I think I, I missed Yeah, he's, Tony's just telling me he's doing really well. I mean, he's going to be a huge success, I think. I could tell that from day one. But he's, totally. he's on a Disney show now. And I've oh, seen him great. doing little PSAs for this uh, Disney show. And he's got, like, long hair now and glasses. Uh, little rock he's, and roll. He's such a little dude. <clears throat> yeah, I, I love I, that I boy. Also, but I also think that I misunderstood the question. TV child. Robin, I think they meant my child. Our Robin. baby, our collective <laughs> baby. Our baby, sorry everybody. Uh, uh, our baby. Uh, Kira she's all Scobie right. Kira is amazing. Oh yeah, she grew up. She grew yeah. up and became a 20 something year old. She's, <laughs> all, all of them are lovely. Wait, which one was ours again? Kira Scobie, Robin. Yeah. What? Wait, which, who, which actress played our daughter? Kira Scobie. Oh yeah, it was Kira. No, I, I, yeah. I met them both at the same time and one was Hook's daughter and one was our daughter, is that right? Yes. All right, here we go. Oh, hold on, sure. <laughs> Sean Hell's making out with Regina. Lucky. <laughs> uh, Lucky. 
it was fun. I mean, I, know, I, think people, I think people sort of just assume that when we do kissing and stuff like that, that it's just like a freebie pass. It's, it's still sort of acting, you know, you still, yeah. if you're kissing, they say, cut, you, you, you stop kissing. You don't go, yeah. hang on, we're still Carry kissing. on, give me a minute, it's, I'm not quite finished. <laughs> I, I, look, I think, I think you, you, I'm sure you agree, uh, doing scenes where you've got to do anything like that, kissing, making out, making love, anything, all is so dependent on the person that you're doing with. If you get along with them, you feel comfortable with them, you feel respected and safe and all of those good things, um, it's a breeze. It's, it's, it's easy, it's straightforward, you don't have to think about it. But I think, I don't know, have you, have you ever had to do a scene with somebody, like a makeout scene with somebody that you didn't like? Because I had one, and I really, really Ooh. didn't like her. Oh, and, no. And she was horrible, but she was a horrible oh, person. No. She was a really, really, she was horrible to the crew. Oh, she wrote no. and produced this film, it was terrible, it's the worst thing I've ever done, and oh. she was just a bully. And on the, do you know what, about three days, I only did it because a friend of mine was directing it, and yes. about three days before the end of filming her, she made the script supervisor, who was living in a caravan to, so that she could make the movie, she made her cry, and I was like, oh. that's it, let me just tell you about yourself. I was like, first of all, you're a horrible actress. Second of all, this script sucks. Third of all, you're a bully. Fourth of all, what gives you the right, you mean, mean, nasty woman? And she's just standing there, and then all of a sudden she went, and I was like, oh, I've gone too far. I've gone too far. <laughs> and then the director, he, he looked at me like, what's wrong with you? I was like, but she's a terrible person. He said, but we've only got three days left. Let's just get through it. <laughs> so classic. yeah, some easier classic. than others. Classic Sean. Oh, I have, I have had to kiss somebody that was yucky. Ooh, I like this question. Have I ever tried Peruvian food? It's a great question because Mark introduced me to Peruvian food last year when I was pregnant. We found this little place when we were um, uh, furniture shopping in the valley and it's like a full on proper, you know, or everybody in there was Peruvian. And yeah. I, had, I had never tasted it before because I haven't been to Peru yet. Yeah. But they have, um, they have their own um, Coca-Cola and Diet Coke that knocked my knickers off. I mean, they literally Ooh. just fell, they fell on the floor. I they mean, fell they, off. They were oh. confiscated by the floor staff. Bye, gone. And then that, and then they do this ceviche that's like single <coughs> tier, good. So have you ever tried it? It's so good. I don't, but that, in the valley, so it must, it must, I, I'm, I better pass it, I better know. I'll find it, I'll find it for you and I'll send it to you. Mark will know. So I don't good. know, I don't think I have. I'm, you know me, I'm a bit kind of, I'm getting better as I get older, but I've never been the most, I'm not that much of a foodie. Do you know what I mean? I sort of like what I like. Can you say something in Spanish? Si. Si. <laughs> We are twinning. Um, <laughs> we are. Then, we've synced we're up. so we're bilingual. We're just so bilingual. Bilingual. Next week, next week, should we do this show in Spanish? Oh, si. Sí. Sí. Porque no. Bueno. Bueno. <laughs> bueno. I wish I could speak Spanish. Um, can you speak any other languages, Sean, besides <laughs> the language of love? Um, I, can, I can understand more than I can speak in French. We. Oui, I'm oui. starting to understand um, a bit more of Spanish. That's one of the things, I think, because it's Flynn and Leo get a bit older because we're growing up, they're growing up in California. We really want them to be bilingual because yeah. I think we'll, this state will only become more Spanish speaking over the next 10, 20, 30 years. And um, I think it would be a really useful, but French is a beautiful language, but it'd be more useful living here to speak Spanish. So I so, think that's something that I'd like to improve for me and for them. If I could direct <laughs> any show, what would it be? Direct, see, that's not the same as being in any show. Directing is, is, is a tough job. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I could be a director. Like you know, a lot of actors want to do it. Like Lana. I do, but it would only be the do. things that I understand that I feel like. I think probably for me, directing a sitcom would be would yeah. be the most natural thing. Yes. Yeah. Um, directing something like I know Lana directed an episode at once, but once is an incredibly tough show to direct because so there's so God. many elements, CGI, stunts, all of that stuff. So I, I'd want something that. There's not too much trickery involved. My dream role would be to, huh? Oh, wait, I'm going to. Um, if I could direct anything, I would go back in time and direct an episode of uh, Friends. Friends, that's my I all time, all time favorite show. Did I ever I mean, tell you the story about when I first came out to LA and I, they, for some reason, Warner Brothers took a shine to me and I was brought to meet the president of Warner Brothers. And I was just like, yes. you're not really the president, are you? It was lovely, <laughs> lovely <laughs> Peter Roth. Oh, and I'm sitting him. in his office, and he's like, so what shows do you like then? I said, well, I love The West Wing, I love ER, I love Friends, especially love Friends. He's like, 
really? Would you want to do friends? And I was like, would I want to do friends? Yeah, I'd like to do friends. He Am got I on the phone and phoned Marta Cuthman, who was the showrunner, and said, I'm going to yeah. send this young man over to you now. And he said, look at him. Oh. And it was to play the role of Jennifer Aniston's boyfriend. Tap, oh. I think. So I went over there, met Martha Cuffman, and was just like, oh my God, I'm going to be in friends. And then she met me, she I'm brought me to meet kidding. David Crane, the showrunner creator as well, who I ended up working for later on the class. And then uh, about a few days later, they're like, no, Martha wants to go with somebody else, but we're going to give you your own show. So I was excited about that, but I was this close to being in Friends. I was this Ooh. close to being Jennifer Aniston's boyfriend. Oh, it's so close. And, and Eddie, it. I forget his name, Eddie something got the part. And I worked yeah. with him later and he's a lovely chap, but I was still like, should have been me. Should have Should have been you. Should have been um, me. So I want to I want to talk about something for a second because it's really exciting. Mm. Really exciting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and it's weirdly not about me or you. Um, well, well then, is it really still exciting? <laughs> it is because we are actually part of it. So we have our interview coming out very, very soon yeah. yes, we with do. the one and only Lana Barria, the evil queen. And that means whoever's sending me messages that sound a little bit like death threats, saying <laughs> get the interview with Lana done, I'm like, all right. Don't, you're being a bit mean. You're being a bit mean. Bit We're scared. trying to get to it. A bit scared. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> but yeah, well, it, that was, um, I have it's to say, I know we've only done two. It's uh, and Jason too. George is uh, the most beloved man. But this yes. was this was a fun chat. I think people yeah. might be people might like this one. Yes, you'll be uh, you'll all be getting that in a few days, and we will definitely keep you posted when it's gonna drop on our new YouTube mm -hmm. channel. That's right. And thank you to everybody that has already subscribed. We're really chuffed um, having only really put out one sort of show, if we can call whatever we do a show. And um, and lots of people are following, so thank you to everybody, because then that makes us think, oh, well, we should maybe keep doing this for a minute. Yeah, no, it's it's really, really fun. I think everybody's going to get a kick out of it, and it's uh, it's not your average interview, so I think everyone is... Uh, Do you know, really it didn't really feel it. like an interview at all, really. I mean, I, I, we did no. ask some questions, but it was more like a get-together with some wine. It was, I think, I think it was the rosé that made it not feel like an interview. Yeah, and I, I think that that's why I'm feeling a little unsteady on my feet today. Because once <laughs> I started with that cool rosé, it's going down a little too easy. I, I may as well just had a straw feet. from the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> or just a hat with it just attached <laughs> yeah. to. I want to get one of those. A lot of people are actually <coughs> asking what the YouTube channel is. And it's At Home with Sean and Bex. <coughs> go, on, go on YouTube. It's At Home with Sean and Bex. Give us a like, a subscribe, a follow, share it. And um, within the next few days, we will be uh, dropping our sexual interview with Lana Priya. It is really, really fun. And I think everyone's going to really, really enjoy it. It's more fun than a panel at a convention. I'm just saying. I think, it, well, the thing is, we've got the benefit of knowing what a lot of you guys out there have asked in the past. And so yeah. we, what we've tried to do is um, ask some slightly more uh, fun, uh, silly kind of questions that maybe we haven't heard before. And that was a tough challenge because we've been asked pretty much everything under the sun. But we have, we have some interesting questions and we've got some very interesting answers from Miss Paria. <laughs> I'm so excited for everybody to see this. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Hi. 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 Who's that? Hello. Just a child. It's just an errand child running around the house. No. I think he's my neighbor. chimney sweep. Get back to work. Get and back also, up that chimney. Everybody. No, you're getting the oh, I think, I think it's nearly school time and I'm being called the poo poo. Okay. <laughs> Literally being heckled in my own home whilst going like. Why am I not surprised? He is his father's son. You get in the poo poo pool. <laughs> Oh, and also, everybody, keep keep your suggestions coming about who else you want us to interview as well. Oh, we yes, want to know. We, you we and I are going to have want. we're going to have a chat. But also, uh, you know, the one that I suggested to you, which I think might be really fun. We might we haven't confirmed, so I'm not going to say any names. But the next guest after Miss Lana is going to be something maybe completely different, which may be more um, interactive. And I don't know. We'll see how it's going to go. But it's going to be very interesting. We're going to take a different a different tact. So after Lana, can I, your can, appetite. I, can I just can I just say there might be magic? You said That's all much. I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, our time is up. I hope okay. you all enjoy the rest of your day, no matter what time it is, where you are. 
We love you all. Thank you for hanging out with us again. And we will be having a live coming again soon. And we will let you know ASAP when our interview with Lana is going to drop on our YouTube channel, At Home with Sean and Bex. Give us a like, a subscribe, and a follow, and share it. We love you all very much, and we will see you very soon. Love you guys. Cheers, everyone. Love, I love you, Take Sean. Care. Love you too, Bex. See you, babe. Bye, gorgeous.